Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Thursday, number 22 day, for this number 9 month, for the year 2022. My name na Kapo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief and the spokesman of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Past King, wona own countryman. Wona welcome to our daily podcast. A program where we bring on meaningful information, the truth, facts based analysis for help we as we work for this journey to our freedom, the independence of Ambazonia. Good citizens of Ambazonia, we go start today with another episode of Cameroon terrorism. Cameroon Occupation terrorist forces them for inside Andek district. Andek district now from the great state of Momo, a place where not long ago, Ambazonian fighter, the way they be there for day, they be done kill one of their co- commander because of excesses them for the village. Most of the boy them, they then be displaced and they then retreat back into their camps and the rural group. Andek na place we, for the past three months, I think almost the whole this year, there have been no patrol by Ambazonian forces, Cameroon occupation military, they don't come back for Andek, including some of the enablers of La Republic du Cameroon, they don't hide then they live for inside Andek. Andek, it could be now a classic example for the type of which way La Republic the call and say, a return back for their control. Wait till it don't happen for inside Andek, it then show we again, once more, why would he fight against La Republic du Cameroon? The colonial mayor, for this time, come out for speak the truth because he is a step in a beef stomach. Unlike the so called chiefs, them within there for the house of thieves, the Rambi silence in the face of Cameroon repeated atrocities. Them. The colonial mayor, he explained exactly which way it happened. Say for Monday, this country Sunday for 19. Two women them should on for bar. La Republic du Cameroon, their military then come for that bar. Can she don't for the day they drink? It could be na a place where you go feel say the ram begin the disregard Ambazonia and their fight for a freedom. Begin drink mimbo for bar for country Sunday. The two Cameroon occupation military, the ram be identified, then come for the bar. These two women them, one in name na Abezi Suzanne, when a 49 year old woman we gay picking them. The other one, na woman we they say Gato, they require Miss, Mrs. Eto Beshiba, then she don't in front of those Cameroon occupation military. One of the Cameroon terrorist military just moved a gun, open fire for that woman their skin, kill the two of them, then die in cold blood, their picture then be circulated on social media. They ran join the more than 30,000 Ambazonia them where they ran be slaughtered in like manner. We ran see the one where they be slaughtered and for womb. We ran see the one where they slaughtered and for Ayaba Hotel. We ran see the one where they go step for school, they ran kill them. What are you wusha you should on? What are you wusha you go? What are you feel say you being a friend for La Republic? What are you feel say you disobey Ambazonian for sabotage for freedom? They they kill you. The same story could come out. They go lie, say they don't arrest the military and they go go back the fight against Ambazonia. Cameroon occupation forces, they go kill you whether you get reason or not. They go assassinate you because Ubina, a people without no right, Ubina, a people with their history, they no one be recognized, will be a people where they consider us like a slaves where you no get right for talk. Ubina, a people where even our history, it don't be criminalized. Ubina, a people where even the colonial constitutions you know be you know they be applied for guarantee any rights for our citizens they, they kill without capture they, they capture and execute they, they remove them for hospital they, they kill them they, they just look you you look some kind of way with your hair style they go kill them whatever they choose to do now for kill 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 ambazonians into subjugation even when you bow down your head they will still kill you. Ambazonian they face now an existential threat. With the definition for policy for this war, 
nobody it be safe na a declaration of genocide against Ambazonia. We must all come together and fight as one man to free ourselves from this colonial, new colonialism we be na black on black. We then reach out for our forces, for inside Andek, for try to engage with them, may them be remobilized and fight and defend the integrity for the people, their march to freedom and their demand for self-determination for inside Andek. Ladies and gentlemen, this war make you not shoot down for some side say it no concern you. Would you raise fund for buy 200 sticks them for fight and protect our country? For inside liberated places, the dead rate of Cameroon terrorism, it be at the minimum, believe it or not. Any man will welcome Cameroon military for inside a house, for inside a, a village, a district, it don't bring na die. I want for take time for congratulate our people across Ambazonia and for take particular moment for thank the brave people of Pamenda. Indeed, you are the right hand of Ambazonia. You are the hope for Ambazonia freedom. You are a gift to God, to all the various parts of Ambazonia, to battle for them and fight for their freedom. We then review our intelligence from Bamenda, from our transitional head for the it is show say this year for inside the main Bamenda school them, Cameroon government school them will be banned. All students them where they be there for the world and see them, all of them. They be being an to them, except for GB Bamenda, where the students are for the whole school. School where it used to be thousands, I mean thousands of people. It be the second biggest school for inside Ambazonia. Now only about 50 students them, day for day. Where those students them, they no get no teacher. It shows say that they bring them now for day. We don't try to identify them. Zero evidence for track them for no use this picking and come out. All Cameroon government school in Bamenda have been defeated. All of our parents have followed our guidelines and nobody have attended a Cameroon government school. We will be releasing those information subsequently for our public to see. Cameroon have not only lied, they have been defeated. And it will be wonderful for us to be able to show the whole world this reality of Cameroon government school empty and Ambazonian community schools full to show this and demonstrate this is critical as would I explain for our people in every diplomatic engagement the issue of school it can be brought up for help educate our people because they say knowledge is power and without knowledge people die I want to refer all Ambazonian to the latest report of the crisis group the crisis group now the most reliable NGO where it defeat the international community across the globe about conflict for Ambazonia now an authority where they dictate for the world the United States the Security Council member then they rely now on their report for know the truth on the ground even more than Human Rights Watch so go and read the report I will publish it on my Facebook page and on ACN the report from the crisis group it has detailed exactly what the international community have been telling our diplomat. It's unfortunate that this type of diplomatic engagement are not made public. But I want every Ambazonian to know what the international community is saying, what the countries that want to support us and have expressed the desire to support our self-determination, what they are saying, know that it will help you to even understand our policy and understand what we need to do as a people collectively to be able to have this independence which is now long due fellow ambazonians i will take this opportunity to explain to our people the issue about unity because those who specialize to become distractors have been using narrative of unity to blackmail and try to cause confusion and the lack of understanding about what unity is all about have caused a lot of death and bring shame to Ambazonia. The issue of fighting or what they want to they want to call it infighting have become an eyesore and a disgrace, something that is being used actively to slow support for our self-determination. 
but before i bring this analysis i want you to listen to this international expert on ambazonia account to know the reason why this is so important in cameroon but this war does seem to get very little attention in the international media it does seem to be relatively less well known than say what's happening in tigray why is that well I think that it's been neglected and that's been a real tragedy and the reasons are pretty self-explanatory. This is a very complex crisis in a medium-sized country and it's been simmering since 2016, 2017. And so, so the reason why this expert it provide them it give the reason why the Ambazonian war with Cameroon you know, they get the attention where it deserve them. Then talks a bit complex. But we know, say, our case now the most simple case. Two countries will then come together with the attempt to come together because one, it decides to vote for join them. The other one, it doesn't recolonize them. It is so simple. What makes our case so complex for anybody to want to support us? Listen. Challenges, right? The, first of all, the government so far um, has only made very superficial concessions. It's really dragged its feet. And on the side of the Anglophones, well, it's very divided, very fragmented. You've got elements that are for peace, uh, just the cessation of conflict. You've got elements that want a new federal or confederal arrangement. And then you've got the secessionist. And they, some of them can be very hardline, very violent, attacking civilians, attacking each other. Um, and so this has been difficult because who do you negotiate? I think the international community, though, and we've seen uh, the Swiss do this a little bit, can bring these sides together to set up some, um, some agreed upon standards and agreed upon benchmarks for moving towards peace. But we're going to have to see a more robust and higher level engagement if we want to move forward. So the detox, the problem way it prolong our struggle, now say one, you get people the way they represent themselves, where they do want a semi war stop for the international community. We know that this is a minority. You get those where they do want some concession for, for autonomy. These are those where they fight for federalism. And then now, for the come when I be the most important one, we will fight for independence. The problem, I say, we get, we will fight each other and we will attack civilians. Them. So, if, like the solution way this expert is talk. If we get an agreed set of principle, them the international community they try to bring we together for agree on certain things where it will be apply on everybody, and that way it will be another way forward. So, ladies and gentlemen, the problem we have is that Ambazonians don't want to study our own liberation movement and they don't want to accept the reality. Everybody wants to impose on another person. And for the most part, we have become like La Republic. La Republic is two countries, Ambazonia and Cameroon, they, want to, they wanted to unite together, irrespective of whether we were forced into that decision or not. Then one party decided that unity will mean that he will force himself over Ambazonia and take over Ambazonia, destroy our identity, and form a one country that will go back to his own state. It was called La Republic du Cameroon when we unite with them. La Republic and Southern Cameroon, they came together. They formed something that they call United uh, Federal Republic of Cameroon. Then it goes back now to La Republic's original name, La Republic du Cameroon. And to make some cosmetic disguise, they add two names. So Cameroon currently, they say that they have two names, La Republic du Cameroon and the Republic of Cameroon. But of course, in the United Nations, their name remains and have always remained La Republic du Cameroon, which is in French originally. So, fellow Ambazonians, this is important, and I want every Ambazonian to pay attention to this. Ambazonians have to understand the meaning of unity. Unity is a form of coming together. Two unit. Unit means something where you group them, uh, think the way if you identify them like a group. So when you say unity, it means you talk about two different things them or more than two different things them coming together there are many type of unity you get unity in the form of collaboration you get unity in the form of merger or which way they call them uniformity you get unity 
in various forms, but I will focus on these two forms and way may be relevant to Ambazonia. Unity in collaboration and then unity in uniformity. So when Ambazonia and the talks the one unity, you get two camps, mainly two camps for Ambazonia, where they be involved in war. We need to talk so we not get other camps, we we'll get other parts of them for the conflict, where they help the effort for our self determination, but where they don't necessarily be engaged in the war front. This is not just a, a war, it is also a campaign for self determination. So the political side, where they campaign only for, for, for self determination, they also be a member of the war. So for the Ambazonian Governing Council, our call for unity is that we should unite in a form of collaboration. That means the various Ambazonian groups, they come together and we decide how we can collaborate. For the IG, primarily in practice, what they have been doing when they talk about unity is uniformity. All of the IG, including Seseko to Marianta and Chris Anno, it is the same thing they are talking about. It's two different ideologies. For Seseko, for Sako, for Anu, for Marianta and the various IG groups, when they said let us unite, they means that let us come together and form one structure with one leadership, one command and control. This is unity in uniformity. And for them, practically, that means that let us come and join them and be under their leadership. And increasingly, it is clear to them that that will never happen. So they use other way to do the same. For the egg of sea, when we say we want unity, what we are talking about is collaboration. We are not asking anybody to abandon your own command structure or your own ideology, but we are simply saying that we can come together as different groups and collaborate and agree on certain things, work on certain things. So this will mean that in areas where you control, you remain in control. But we discuss about the things you are doing. We discuss about the things we are doing. We agree on things that we can do together. Where we cannot agree, you continue to do your own. On the ground, when the ADF talk about unity, it means that we agree to reconcile and not to fight with each other. We collaborate where we can collaborate. We join carry operation where we can join carry operation. That is what we are talking about when we say unity. And for those who want uniformity, that means that we should come under one group, under one authority, one leadership. They, they think that ADF is against unity because we are against uniformity. For ADF, some of our supporters and our members, which are many of them, we have millions of people on Ground Zero, they also think that the people who want uniformity, they are the people who are fighting against ADF. To an extent, both groups are right. And this is what you have to know. I'll give you an example in Bui. In Bui, we initiated the unity between the ADF and the forces who were there of the Bui Unity Warrior. We have had long history there. We had united under uniformity before and the form Unity Warrior, Bui Unity Warrior. It did not turn out well because it was an amalgamation of unity under the IG group. Even though they lied that it was apolitical, they end up bringing it under the IG. So this is what is going on. The ADF and the Bui Unity Warrior and the Bui Warrior came together to form one platform called the Bui Unity Warrior. The Bui Unity Warrior is a group of two forces the ADF and the ARF. According to us in the ADF, we have come together to reconcile so that we can cooperate and collaborate. But every general and every force should remain and control their area of control and apply their own policy there and also help us to synchronize our policy together so that when we agree, we can do the same thing. But the people of the IG, they will come and they want to force uniformity on this uniform, to, on this collaborative platform. They want to transform it into a structure that will be conformed conform to their own structure to create a new uh, civil something or a new political something. At the end of the day, it will be under the IG. They want it to come under the IG. The A of C, on the other hand, will not even attempt to bring the unity warrior under our command and control, but we seek to use it as a platform to collaborate with the other group. 
So that is the issue we have with unity. It is not something we should be fighting about, but it is something we can debate about it honestly and see which way we can go forward. For me, I not just advocate for the A of C because I'm a member, you may say I'm biased, but I just believe we are right. I give you an example. If the two groups, for example, in Bui, they come together as we have come together and form Bui Unity Warrior, the two uh, groups, forces can never be unified, can never be one under one command and control for the simple reason that they have two ideology. For the Ambazonian Governing Council, whose ideology applied to the ADF, we ascribe to the policy that describe our territory as Savannah State and Atlantic State and the various areas, uh, administrative areas, we call them district. For the IG, they have what they call county. They call it county and then they call it LGA. Similar thing to Nigeria, whatever. So this is the two different. How can these two people come together? They cannot come together and form one group because the ADF will call it state. The IG, IRF will call it county. And these numbers, these names are important. Remember, we are fighting with Cameroon today because of names and also because of control. It's very important. Our people can only have a political outlook. That means choose what type of government we want when we have independence. For the meantime, we can only collaborate to make sure that we don't have fighting. And people should not fight because of these differences, because we are all fighting for the same thing. Each time we start fighting over these things, we only create opportunity for Cameroon intelligence to move in. They will come and say, oh, I'm coming to fight against this one. But actually, they are fighting against both of us. And we have to wise up. We have to accept that Ambazonia is diverse. We have to accept that we cannot be uniform. We cannot. We will never be. The best way, as you have heard this expert have put out, he's not an egg of sea, he's a neutral person. And many experts have advised us, we have to collaborate. We have to come to a formula that will identify the areas where we agree. If all of what we agree is, is independence, then let us make standard for that. That is the only way we can succeed. And of course, we know that it will be impossible because our, infit our, account, our struggle have been infiltrated. There are people who are always going to use these differences to fuel division, hatred, and blackmail and defamation, and defamation. These are the enemies of the struggle. But those who will debate it and those who will see it as ideological differences will help us to come to understanding, to understand each other and to be able to move forward without fighting each other. We have to collaborate. We can never be one. Even in a family, every child have their own mind, but they know that they come from the same house. They will not be fighting because this one is taller than this one. This one can work harder than this one, but they will complement each other. What we need is for every ADF to complement ARF, every ARF to complement ADF. Let no child stand up and say that he is chopped chair when the father's wheel have not even been open. Now for boya, we will open the wheel. Now for they will decide. Who tell you that Ambazonia is a federal country? It's not yet federal. We are Ambazonia. We are not federal republic because the outlook is just a projection. Whether the egg of C call it federal or the ARRAO call it republic, it is when we go to boya, then experts will sit down with clear head and decide the, the type of administration that will suit, it, uh, suit the, polit the type of political system that will suit our own environment, taking into consideration our geopolitical, our, ge our geopolitics and our neighbors. So for the meantime, don't fight over things that are not worth fighting for, but debate, understand, seek for knowledge about your friend and your neighbor and look for ways you can work together. At a time when our people are being slaughtered, we cannot afford to have instigators and defamers, blackmailers going around, pointing our differences as a point to generate hate. But we should look into our differences as an opportunity to become more diversified, divergent, and debate, and come together and fight for a common cause. God bless you all. Capo Daniel.
signing off.